But yeah, guys, so let's just have a talk about, you know, playing Volby. I did the Volby guide. Um, now we're talking about how to use Volby, her abilities. You know, again, we've got water play. So like I said in the video, we do a rectangular for our Q. Our Q ability is rectangular instead of a bouncing water ball, which makes... Volby just a million times well not a million but vastly more powerful because again it's just like an area of effect instead of just a bounce three or four times I can't remember what it was three or four um so yeah we're just going to go over the kind of combo what I do in combat hopefully we get a boss on this stage we are pretty much towards the end of the game now so I'm hoping we don't give any spoilers. So you see ability, which is called Flop Plop. Flop Plop. I'll get it right eventually. It kind of allows you to teleport a short distance. And both the entry and exit point of the dive deals area of effect damage. Now, if you put them close enough to each other, especially when you've got skill effect area, look at all that area there, guys. You do skill damage. Again, I think it's only skill power times by 50% um, for that. So it's not going to give you the biggest DPS numbers, but my Q does that. My, my Q is about 150 times skill power damage. I think we're doing about 10,000 base damage. And then we're a bit higher than that with a crit. Something important just dropped. There we go. Precision code analyzer. But yeah, the flop flop, the key is... You don't want to be going too far away because you're wasting it. You want the flop flop to be pretty close to you, about there. So you've got all that area there is going to do damage. And again, it's a CC ability. So it's a crowd control ability. It knocks them all down. So while they're all down, they're already taking tick damage from that. And then what you do is your Q, which does a lot more damage than you see while they're on the floor. And if we just have a quick look now at what I've talked about. So your plop plop, the skill power damage for that is 28%. So if your skill power is 1,000, you're going to do 280 damage per second for up to a maximum of 15 seconds. Again, it's very rare they're going to stay in the same spot for 15 seconds. Um, however, the important stats to take out of this is you want... Obviously, you're going to want to prioritize skill power and skill effect area, which I've got both of those on. As you can see there, the range goes from the standard 6 meter to 8.3. Again, I'm not at end game, so that radius will probably be a lot bigger. I don't mind the cooldown decrease has been slightly um, higher because you don't really use them that often. Um, so, as a viewer said to me on my last video, um, that, that why have you got your skill cooldowns higher? I'm like, well, there's no real need um, to have them any higher. Um, so then to go back on and talk about the combo, because this is all you really need to know about Volby. You don't need to be too, you know, in-depth. Like I've said, all you need to have is the Descendant module water play, which unfortunately is a 1% drop rate at a specific mission. Can't remember which one it is off the top of my head. Uh, but again, it's a 1%. You can actually search for this, guy. So if you go into the modules on the game, you can actually view all the modules. I can't remember where you actually view them all now. I think it's when you go to the guy in Albion. But again, you can view all the modules in the entire game. Oh, oh, look, there's ones there, you see. What I've actually... Oh, no, sorry. Okay, I, I, I'm confusing myself now, guys, because enemies are attacking me while I'm trying to do a frigging video. They go away. So, yeah, moving, moving back to my descendant. So, as we said, flop, flop. This is kind of... You want to do flop, flop first. Sorry, plop, plop first. Am I ever going to say that right, guys? Somebody let me know. Somebody try to teach me how to talk in the comment section, please. Um, so once you've done your plop plop ability, 
They're already going to be on the floor. They've already got knocked down. Then you're going to want to do the one what does the most damage out of any of the abilities, um, which is your water play ability, which it's been renamed to water play. I can't remember what it's called normally. Um, but again, this creates a small puddle in front in a rectangular shape instead of the bubble. I think it's called water bubble, the, the, the normal one. And it bounces four times like a ball. And whenever it hits the first enemy, it explodes. So this one, it doesn't matter if there's 20 enemies there, it'll attack them all. Which, again, this is the reason why I picked up Volby in the first place. Because I'm like, wow, I've got a 1% drop. I need to use Volby. Um, as you can see, she's a non-attribute descendant. She's got a couple of fusion and a couple of dimension. But what I try to do, as you can see here, I've only got a level 61 reactor. So people kind of look at all these reactor levels and they think, oh, I'll just have the highest level on because it's going to be the best. No. If you have a look at, I don't know, one I've just unlocked here, level 79. So this is 18 levels higher. However, this one, yes, the base skill power and sub attack power is much higher. However, when you look at the optimization conditions and the skill power boost ratios, um, it's not really a better one for me. Um, because again, on the materialized mixture reactor, the ultimate one, I've got Thunder Cage mounting because that's the um primary weapon I'm using, so that gives me 160% on the skill power and sub attack power. Then I've also got, as I'm getting attacked again, skill power boost ratio of 0.2%, sorry, of 20% on both non attribute and also on um, the the dimensional abilities. Let's just get out of here, guys. Why can't the enemies just leave me to make a video? Um, at least he spawned us back in a safe area now. So, again, guys, you know, you've just got to be sensible when you're playing with Alby. I see a lot of people trying to play every single Descendant like a glass cannon. Let's have a look at our Descendant modules again. We did go over these in the last video for you. Obviously, Water Play and shock punch because again volby let me just go back to the descendant screen again just so um it's easier for you to look at the thing is with volby all her abilities actually decrease the resist amount of electric and non-attribute resistant damage as well so when she's damaging people and putting the her passive on, which is called, um, sorry, putting them under the laundry um, passive, you do more electric damage. So obviously the thunder gun uh, does electric burst, so that makes more damage. So again, you've just got to be clever with your build. You don't need to be a glass cannon with Olby. Um Let's have a look again at the um, Descendant modules. So, yeah, Shock Punch. It Obviously, Shock Punch, it's an electric Shock Punch. Um, so when you Shock Punch somebody, it does even more damage. For some reason there, it doesn't even tell you that it uses electric, but it does, guys. Um, trust me. I'm a YouTuber. Well, I'm not a YouTuber. I'm an uh, engineer by trade. Um, but again, trust me. Shock Punch, electric, does more damage. Um, I've got maximized skill. Again, people were questioning my Vol Volby video when I've had 100 hours playing as Volby. How dare you? Um, but no, again, we're a democracy here. <laughs> we're not a dictatorship. So skill power plus 66%. And again, I've not even leveled this up all the way yet. Um, so it's going to be even higher, maybe closer to 80 by the time I've upgraded it two more times. So skill power 66.5, skill cooldown, um, 38 plus 38 percent so it's making me skill cooldowns a lot longer but again by the time you've done a plop plop in and out then you've done a Q for your water playability everything's dead anyway and even if they're not dead they've got laundry you shoot them with a thunder gun it procs the electric the electric then does 20 percent more damage and then obviously it's a non-dimensional skill as well honestly you just absolutely blow people straight away um and again a lot of people just don't think about putting resistances on shields hp modifiers all that kind of stuff it's a polygenic antibody 
um, gives you 600 and, well, I've maxed it out. So it gives you 640 on each um, resistance type. I've got Agony. I might mix this up at some point, but again, 8.5% um, max MP, which, again, it's not really a stat. I'm that interested. But again, defense, 38% more defense. Shock Punch we've already talked about. Um, does come in handy sometimes, but I don't really melee people unless I'm just wanting to have a bit of fun. Um, weighing the scales. So max shield, 42%. Skill cost, minus 37 Again, doesn't really bother me. Um, the skill cost um, stat on there. Again, I've got it on just for max shield, 42%. And again, another one. I've nearly maxed this up. Max shield, 182%. Sorry, 128%. I can't even read now. Um, regeneration boost, HP recovery modifier. I did talk about this because there's a few people getting misunderstood again because the wikis aren't actually all out there yet. People are kind of like questioning if they're, you know, reading these um, stats right. It'd be good if the game actually had a bit more of an explanation behind things. Say if you could press, I don't know, shift or control, you know, while you're looking at it for a more detailed breakdown of exactly what it does, that would be great as well as actually showing us on the map when the Koopla shards drop. Um, because, again, you've got to have eagle eyes, guys, otherwise you end up missing them. But, again, that's for another video. So, yeah, HP recovery modifier. Basically, when you pick up a little red box with a cross on it, I'm sure you've all seen them, um, it gives you more, well, 15% more um, health from picking one of those up. Again, there's no passive health regeneration on any Descendant I've played. Um, and again, if you're playing a Descendant who has a healing ability, this does not affect that. You need a different um, module for that. And then skill effect range, which again, plop plop, you've seen in water play. This is one which I'm going to level up um, very, very quickly. This is kind of my priority now to do a much more skill effect range, especially on the Coloss Colossus battles, because contrary to popular belief... Um, your abilities do actually do quite a lot of damage. The Pyromancer, I was having trouble doing that. And then I thought, right, let's go a skill build um, with Volby. And I beat her with Volby. If I was going to continue to not beat her with Volby, I would have used Viesa. Um, because, again, the Pyromancer is very weak against him. Chill damage, which that's obviously what Viesa does. So, yeah, I think I've talked about the mechanics enough. Um, we haven't talked about the ultimate, so better talk about the ultimate well the ultimate the z ability so basically when you've done your flop flop and enemies have been stood in that and then obviously you do your q after which we've talked about that's the kind of stuff you will pull this weapon out now you fire this near where any enemies are what's been affected by your laundry so in other words if they've been stood in that water you fire that and when you fire that any enemies i think within eight meters of that bubble all get dragged towards it and it does continuous damage in there and they basically can't do anything and um, while they're in that bubble so that is the um z ability and then the v ability this is kind of one what a lot of people don't understand so everybody knows how fast and quick bunny moves well if you do this with um volby you actually move just as fast as what bunny does Bunny can actually run for longer um than you doing this twice um, but again, you can move as fast as Bunny. And something else, what the game doesn't even tell you, sometimes, if I can find somewhere, if you take a really, really big drop and it normally stuns you because of the amount of um, distance you've fallen, if you are actually in the liquefied state, which when you do press V, it puts you in a liquefied state, you get like kind of a status bar on there. So I'm going to show you now. You will just glide. Doesn't matter how far you drop down. Yeah, it's going to kill me. You can't go down there. But ultimately, liquefied, it kind of... If you drop off a massive mountain into a playable area, normally you'll stay still for a bit as, as your ball breaks. However, if you're in liquefied, you just continue going. There's no, there's no stun when you've dropped from a great height. But yeah, that's pretty much it, guys, for Volby. This is part two. Sorry I didn't put this in the original video for you. Um, I kind of just thought at the time that it wasn't needed. But again, people are asking for it. And if you're asking for a specific kind of video, guys, um, 
I'll always try to do that video for you. All right, take it easy, all. Thank you for watching my videos. Really appreciate you. And yeah, all have a great week. Thank you, my friends. Goodbye. If you've enjoyed the video, please smash that like monks. It helps YouTube promote my content to new people. And yeah, if, again, if you've got any constructive criticism, please feel free to add your comment in the comment section. All right, have a great week, all. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.